Hey you guys, the much anticipated and very long awaited video is finally here. Um, this video is going to be all about my breast augmentation decision, my process behind it, um, why I decided to get a breast augmentation. Um, as you guys know, in the fitness industry, it's a quite popular thing for people to do and I went for a very, very long time not having had them done. So what was my big decision? Everyone wants to know, like, what happened? Why did I decide to do it? And I have gotten so many requests from my female followers just asking me, please do a video on your breast augmentation, like, over and over and over and over. And at first I was like, I don't want to do a video on that. This is a personal decision. But then I decided to go ahead and make one because of the volume of requests I got. And I figured, hey, if this video helps another girl out there considering um, making the same decision, why not? I should just swallow my pride and do it for you guys. So here you go. Um, but before I delve into this video, I did want to mention to you guys and announce that I just completed my Booty Bible ebook. Um, I released it last Friday. I think it was last Friday. Um, and I am so amped about it, you guys. Like, I've been working on this ebook for a really long time, and basically, I put together all of my best booty building workouts into a strategically designed program um, to grow and shape and tone and lift your glutes. I have had an incredible glute transformation over my the course of my fitness journey, and it's taken a lot of trial and error for me to develop nice glutes. And so I want to fast track that for you guys and just kind of give you everything I know about how to build and shape and lift and tone your glutes. So that is available for you guys on my website. It's katiecorridor.com slash shop. And as soon as you buy an ebook or any of the ebooks or coaching on my website, you'll get an invitation to a private Facebook group that I have set up. Um, it's a support group for anybody going through the ebooks or coaching. And we've actually created a really awesome little community on Facebook and it's just a really nice um, group that we've created. Uh, so really happy about that too. Um, okay, so to the meat and potatoes of this video, uh, my boobs. All right, so after I got my breast augmentation, obviously people noticed on social media as I expected them to, and I started to get feedback, some positive, some saying, oh my gosh, you look great, congrats. Like, blah, 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 or also some very negative ones. I remember someone specifically saying that I was their last natural boob athlete inspiration that they could follow. And other people saying that they were gonna unfollow me because that I, you know, changed my body and that they liked me for having um, natural breasts and things like that. And to those people, it makes me sad because I would hope that my followers would choose to follow me for the content that I put out, for what I say, for what I stand for, not for my breast size. So that was kind of a hard pill for me to swallow, but it is the world that we live in and I am a fitness influencer. I am on YouTube. I do share my personal life with you guys, so it's kind of a tricky line to walk for me um, to keep some things private and also share enough that I can can be who I want to be to you guys. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off track, but that's why I'm making this video because people asked for it. Many, many people asked for it. Um, I'm not ashamed of this decision that I made and it's just a personal decision that I made for myself that I've been thinking about for many, many years, for the past four years or so. It wasn't something that I made because this is a common mis misconception, I think um, people just assume that women who decide to get their breasts augmented do it because they don't love themselves. And I think that is the hugest misconception ever. That was not the reason or motivation whatsoever why I decided to do it. I loved myself just as much before I got my breasts done as after. And I think anybody who just judges someone for that or just assumes that, you know, the reason why they wanted to do that or, you know, looks at them in a negative light, I think that's just as bad as body shaming someone for being overweight or for being too skinny or anything else like that. So I would like to discourage everybody from making those judgments and assumptions when you see a woman 
who has decided to get their breasts augmented. Many of you guys are probably thinking like, okay, what was the turning point for you? What after four years decided to, you know, why after four years you just decided, okay, now's the time. And I'm looking back on it and I'm thinking about my life through those years. And I did bikini competitions and then I did a long off season. I did powerlifting, which obviously you do bench press. Um, I got super muscular and now I feel like I, you know, those were all chapters in my life. And now I feel like I'm opening a new chapter of my life where I don't want to be as muscular. I don't want to, um, probably not going to do a bikini competition again. Um, I feel like I'm in, entering a new chapter of my life where I just want to be a healthy lifestyle, you know, personality, um, or person. I want to live and embody a healthy lifestyle and I want my look to match that. Um, and I wanted to feel more feminine and I love a curvy body. I mean, I obviously have like a big butt and I just wanted bigger boobs and that's basically it. I mean, I lived with an A cup my entire life. I was completely flat chested. There's nothing wrong with that. I was totally confident and happy with my body. Um, but it was just a personal decision that kind of lined up with the timing of my life. I could, I could afford it financially. Um, I wasn't, you know, doing heavy extreme lifting anymore and I was just found myself thinking, okay, it's been four years since I've started to think about this and it's still something I want to do, I should just do it. And that was just a personal decision that I made for myself, for my body, and that's really all there is to it. So I'm not making this video to encourage anyone to get their breasts done. I think that if you, if it is something that you're considering, um, I would tell you to really be thoughtful and careful about your decision and make sure that that's what you want to do and make sure the reasons behind your decision are um, are true and good and not um, a decision that you are making to fill some kind of type of void that you have or like to love yourself more because I think that's that can get sticky and I think that that is not a good reason to do that. So now that you guys know why I decided to get my breasts done I wanted to talk a little bit about the process. A lot of people were asking what my experience was. So basically when you decide to get breast augmentation, it's a good idea to go visit multiple doctors, um, set up consults with all of them, and kind of just feel them out, get to know their work, their pricing, um, what they would recommend for you. They're gonna look at your body and look at, you know, bring pictures of, of, of boobs that you like and you know the shape and the um, size and and just talk with them and they they're so knowledgeable and they'll they'll tell you you know to achieve this look you'll want to do this and we'll do it this way and they'll explain different things to you so it's important to set up consults with with doctors that you feel until you feel comfortable with one of them and then obviously you're going to go move forward with one of them so i um, actually i actually only went to one consultation and that was with Dr. Chazen in Del Mar, um, Del Mar, Southern California, San Diego. I'd highly recommend him to anyone, but I went to one consult and I was just super comfortable with him. Um, I knew two people who had gone to him before and they're, they look amazing, so I was very confident in him. He works very close to where I live, so it was right down the street from my house and it just made sense. Um, and he did offer a payment plan and everything. So he was very knowledgeable. I showed him photos of breasts that I like. I showed him shapes that I liked, shapes that I disliked. I wanted to stay around, away from the big, the very round look. You know, I, what I hated was the roundness on top. I hated that. So I told him like a million times, like, I just don't want them to be round on top, natural shape, like teardrop shape, everything. And, um, and I kind of like left the rest up to him because I figured he would know better than me. I did give him an idea about size, the size that I was after. Um, and you know, I didn't give him any specifics. Oh, I want this many CCs or, you know, anything like that because he was, he was way more knowledgeable on that than I was. He ended up doing under the muscle. So basically you could either go under the muscle or above the muscle. What that means, and obviously, you guys, if you hear that in the background, it's my dog. He's chewing on a, a bone or something. Simba! 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 You're making a lot of noise, buddy. Sorry. 
You're making a lot of noise. He ended up doing it under the muscle, which means basically you can either go under your pectoral muscle or above your pectoral muscle, which is under your skin, basically. So I went under the muscle because it looks more natural because obviously if you go just over the muscle, the only thing on top of your implant is your skin. And so you can see the implant a lot more unless you have a grip of muscle that, you know, your upper chest pectoral muscle that would cover it. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to go under the muscle, a more natural look, more of what I was after. Um, second thing was we went, the incision was done right under the nipple, like an, an inch incision under the nipple, like around the nipple, so there's virtually no scarring. Um, some people do it underneath the breast, some people go through their armpit, um, some people go through the belly button, but this is the way that Dr. Chasen did mine, and I was very um, happy with it because it was the minimal, most minimal scarring and the most easily recovered because you're not creating like some crazy trauma, you know, going through your body cavity or anything like that. It's just like, whoop, slip them in. Um, <laughs> so what else? I went with silicone implants and I think they're called Naturel, is like the newest silicone. It's a very soft, it's not like the older silicones that were um, hard, it's a very soft, kind of like a gummy bear type feel. It feels the most like normal breast tissue. Um, and he ended up going high profile, which means basically you could go low profile, moderate profile, or high profile. I'm pretty sure it means like the, the width of the implant, like high profile is like round, moderate profile is more a teardrop. Low profiles, teardrop. I could be wrong. I honestly don't know. But he said he went high profile on me, and we did 450 cc's. Now, I I say that with like hesitation because I don't want you to go to your doctor and say this girl has 450 cc's and I want the same boobs that she has because every body is different. Since I didn't have virtually any breast tissue before I went. Um, you know, had I been like a C cup and I got a 450, I would have ended up with much larger breasts than I have now. So, um, you know, someone, and it also has to do with the width of your chest and like your, just your frame in general. This size of implant could look totally different on another body. So that's why I say go to your doctor, they'll explain what's best for you, bring pictures of stuff you like and pictures of stuff you dislike, and you guys can hash out the details. Um, between the two of you. So that was my experience of choosing an implant and everything. So then next topic that I got asked a lot of questions about is recovery. How did I recover? How quick was it? Could I train? Everything like that. Um, I, this is one of the reasons that I'm the most happy with Dr. Chazen is because the recovery is so minimal compared to other people that I talked to. And it was the same for the other two women that went to him that I know of. Um, my recovery time, I could do cardio two weeks, actually it was 10 days after surgery, cardio. Um, and then I think I was in the gym lifting lower body two weeks after. Very light, just kind of getting my, my muscles moving again. And then he said no restrictions after a month and a half or so. so Yes, it was obviously uncomfortable to move my arms above, you know, my shoulder line for a while because it's just tight and your body's adjusting and you don't want to push it. And if you do push it, if you go too hard too soon, you could develop pockets, which means you have to get surgery again. So you don't want to do that. Basically, just listen to your doctor and do whatever he says faithfully. Um, so, but I just had a really great experience with my recovery. It was very quick and easy. I can do everything I used to be able to do except bench press. I haven't tried it yet just because since I'm not completely healed, I don't want to do anything that's going to mess anything up. Um, so I'm looking forward to be able to do that again, but obviously not going to be for a while and I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to push myself. Um, but everything else I've been totally fine doing, squats, deadlifts, back. Some people have problems with doing back after they get their boobs done, but I have no, no problem. So, I think it just depends on you, your body, your doctor, and the, the implants that you get and just how your body reacts. Um, and I think that's basically all the questions I've gotten on 
my breast augmentation. But again, if you have any questions on my personal experience or um, anything at all, you can comment it below in the description, in the description box. In the comments below, you can put your questions and I will be sure to reply. Super awkward video for me to record. This has been really uncomfortable. Oh! <laughs> but I hope that it helps somebody out there and um, I don't really ever want to talk about making my boobs to you guys again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sign off now. See you in the next one.